Hello YouTube, this is Kai from Kylabs and this video is for MPC2 users and MPC Beats users. And in this video I will show you how to route MIDI inside these DAWs. And that is actually something totally impossible as we both know. But I will show you a way to make it work that you can use software like Scalar or Instacomposer or Hexel or um, Instacodes and use your expansion set instruments and whatever you want to, to play them. Let's see. So as you can see, there is part of the solution, but I will just demonstrate to you that it's actually working. As you can see, this is Instacomposer and Instacomposer would never work with MPC or MPC Beats, but in this solution it does. How is this possible? The answer is, um, yeah, it, it seems complicated, but it is not. You need two programs or plugins. The first program you need is Loop MIDI. Loop MIDI is a software that emulates hardware MIDI ports. As you know, Every DAW accepts hardware MIDI input through, for example, your keyboard or yeah, your MPC <laughs> studio. And uh, in this case, MPC also accepts the input via an input channel, as you can see here. For this one instrument, I, this is the drums, <laughs> okay. But you see there, I have all the different channels here possible. And usually if I want to route MIDI, this won't be available anymore. So, question is, how do we get our programs like Instacomposer or, or, or our plugins like Instacomposer, Scalar and so on uh, to go through a hardware MIDI port or even a virtual hardware MIDI port. The answer is we can do that if we have a second program and that is actually Cache view element. Cache view element is not a finished product, but it's enough for the, what we want to do today. That is, we want to host this Insta Composer VST inside element, and in element is a VST host and Element also is very capable of routing MIDI. So, and that is what we are doing here. We have here our Insta Composer and we are doing actually nothing else than just routing the MIDI output from Insta Composer to loop this loop MIDI port. So loop MIDI is a small program and you can have as many channels as you want there. So as you can see, this is loop MIDI and there we have our configuration. You see, I have two ports, but you, you will need only one MIDI port and I called it loop MIDI port, but you can call it what you want to call it. I don't think that I need a special name for it. And as you can see, all the MIDI 
from Insta Composer will be sent through through this loop MIDI port. So, and as you know, you can watch the MIDI data that is sent through your DAW, your MPC, if you just go here. That is not the right way, so. So as you can see, all the data were here and uh, it was sent through loop MIDI, through these loop MIDI ports. And you will see here, my first track is a piano and um, I get it from loop MIDI port and channel one. Then next is Rhodes and I get it through loop MIDI port, channel two, and so on. So that's quite easy, and it actually works really good. But what I found out is that you can't sync the MIDI clock from MPC Beats or MPC2 to this element program, and that means that it's not in sync if you want to play it. So I could, you know, I, I was able to just do that, but there was nothing to hear from Insta Composer because Insta Composer was not advancing. That was really not what I wanted. So I had to find another solution. And the solution is that we use the MIDI clock from Element and control with it MPC Beats or MPC2. So that means you have to go into your preferences. And if you want to play it like that, you need to go to MIDI Sync and make it, make MPC Beats or MPC2 a sync receiver or not a sync sender. And that is what I did. And this works really well. It's interesting. When you use mm, Element as a VST, MPC2 or MPC Beats won't allow <laughs> sending MIDI data out to the hardware ports. And that means Loop MIDI does not get any MIDI data. If you use Element as a VST, it works perfectly fine as long as you don't want to uh, MIDI route outside of Element. So you can have instruments in Element and you can route inside from Element. You can route Insta Composer to these instruments and you can route the audio ports outside so that you can hear it in MPC, but you can't, for example, use the instruments of your expansion packs. I think it's more beneficial to have Element as a separate application running and just use the MIDI data coming through the loop MIDI port. And I think that works really good. So let's have a look on where you find those two programs. So this is Cache View and you find it on Cache View Net and there you can just download uh, Element and it's donationware. So if you find it useful, you can pay the author some money and if you just want to try it out, it's totally free. So, and there's another software you should have, and that is Loop MIDI. And you find it here. I will link it in the video also. It says here it only works 
from Windows 7 to Windows 10. But I think it's a little bit older. The text is a little bit older. It also works under Windows 11. I just tried it out on my notebook. So and you can download it. It's also donationware. And it's, it's really easy set up. You just need this channel. And when you have that channel, you will find it in your DAWs also as in Element. One thing you should think about is when you start Element the first time, you have to scan for all your VSTs so that it can find, for example, Scale or InstaComposer. So otherwise you will only have <laughs> the internal plugins from Element and that is not what you want. Okay, that's was it. It's quite a special solution, but we both know there is no MIDI routing inside MPC Beats or MPC2. But we can go around and come can come from the outside. And that's what we are doing. Thanks for watching. Have fun with my other videos. Bye-bye.